Man, I wasn't even supposed to work on the car today. But let me just say, she's sitting pretty. So, like I said, I was not planning on working on this car at all today. But I'm going to go ahead and catch you up real quick on what I was able to get done. And obviously, still continuing the mock-up process in terms of finally getting the passenger manifold on and the turbo chilling. So, I was able to go ahead and remove the AC line to go ahead and eliminate a possible fitment issue, which it seems like I was correct so far in terms of a clearance issue. But it's looking like this piece where the manifold is literally touching that piece of the body is really giving me an issue. I may have to try to either shave that down, um, bang it in a little bit or something to go ahead and get more room. I uh, started cleaning a little bit with a degreaser and really started cleaning up at least this inside area right here. And then this area right here, you're gonna see a big difference. This is, it's actually red. Yes, there's more to go and you know, I really gotta get in down and dirty, but really, at least for this side, I would need to remove um, all of these wires to try to tuck them up under here, I've been watching a lot of videos and seeing that um, I could bring most of them through here and utilize a lot of this inner fender well. Um, if I have to, I will remove the fender to go ahead and do it better. Um, I also remove the uh, horn and uh, windshield washer fluid, um, the reservoir, because I really, I don't even remember the last time I actually used the windshield. Uh, wiper fluid um and uh, i know i don't know i think that was already capped off before um because i was trying to free up space see i gotta get a new hose and shit for the uh, intake manifold um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try to soon start working on this cleanup and um wire tucking process as well i definitely want to get into it doing a real good wire tuck myself and figuring shit out and then go ahead and uh fix up uh well those are the lights i plan on putting new lights on anyway so the at least the the light harness wires i'll go ahead and leave alone because i'm probably gonna need to splice into them and do extra work in that manner when i put a uh, one piece headlights on because i don't really care for the three piece um so we was able to you know remove the ac line get that out the way um we got the uh, passenger header on with the turbo mocked up. So now, definitely what I'm gonna continue on doing is um, mocking up the crossover pipe, get that on and going. And then uh, probably called, oh yeah. So I was able to get the back piece off. Um, <laughs> almost forgot, I'm like, damn, I knew I, there's one more thing missing. So in terms of the EGR, um the emissions bullshit smog getting rid of all that shit there was the uh the pipe that if you know on a on a 5.0 it is right here so went ahead and got it off and i chopped off the end pieces because i found on youtube somebody gave a good uh trick in terms of at least saving money so you chop them off and when you bolt them back on obviously the passenger side is gonna go on the driver's side. The driver's side is gonna go on the passenger side because you put them on this way towards the engine to completely block off that hole that was there. Yeah, SVE sells a, it's like 40, $50 to just simply put them on, but it's like, you know what? You know, save money. It's not really cutting corners. Um, I could do a better job on cutting, but it's just like, for what it's going to be out the way and down the line if it's to be changed or whatever we just do it you know with the sve kit but for right now in terms of saving money and actually getting progress done on the engine um go ahead and uh, do it like that so it's literally um this one's gonna go no the reason why i can't bolt it back up right now is because since these bolts are like really old and you see one of them started stripping and they're just really old and dirt, you know, just all the grease and dirt and grime. Uh, I'm going to want to go to a store and pick up some fresh, you know, bring these and just pick up some fresh exact bolts to uh, put them in brand new and uh, 
pretty much uh, cap that off in terms of the EGR system and we'll be good on that. I don't got to worry about uh, that stuff no more. Then I just got to order the, uh, the spacer that goes in between the throttle body and the manifold with the EGR delete and the uh, throttle uh, comes with the throttle um, bracket so I could put the uh, throttle cable on and mount it up and yeah so pretty much now um, once the uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that obviously the um, clutch cable needs to be heat wrapped the, the both these AC lines are gonna need to get heat wrapped um, all this over here uh, I'm going to plan on obviously uh, removing and wire tucking under this fender because I got all these wires over here that are going to need to get uh, that I'm going to you know uh, I'll probably cut off that fume one right there just to leave it right there and uh, cap it off then uh, these shits right here um, I'll probably Uh, it's probably just re remove that and put a cap on that just for now and then this is just for the uh alternator so this could just chill right here and uh yeah just pretty much right now now that we got the uh the turbo finally mounted up mocked up with the uh, passenger header on we're actually able to make pro uh like steps forward and, uh, and finally you know making progress so i could really just start cleaning up and I'll get the organizing part down because this turbo isn't going to be fully mounted and good to go until everything is clean, organized, and lined. So this is just so far for this update on this day. So I'll go ahead and catch you in a day or two. So see you on the next one. Yo, 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 guys. Here we are day two with it. Um, we got some hot side piping on. I got at least that down on. Uh, I was fighting the uh, crossover last night. And I uh, kind of gave up because I realized the two long bolts that I'm using to mock up the turbo are actually supposed to go there, I think. So I'll deal with that later. But was able to go ahead and get the relocation bracket and alternator mocked up and done. Well, it's not mocked up. It's on, on. Like, if that shit's on, it's going to stay there. Um, went ahead and put it from right there to there. So I can show you the whole setup. Also, by the way, if y'all want, if you don't like these little updates, um of me just like checking in and out and with progress or if you rather um have me like go through the steps and show you me like putting stuff on and figuring it out and like struggling damn near um let me know i'll do more recording on showing the actual me going through the steps and actually putting stuff on and off um and like doing things or if you like the quick little check check-ins and outs and updates you know so that you know, just let me know which one y'all prefer to see and watch and know. But that's pretty much what we're on to right now. I'm about to go to the store to um, pick up the bolt to put the bolt to put these back on the block. And uh, then we're going to then move on to probably um, getting that crossover pipe on and anything else getting done. So, And then I also got to put tape on to cover up this the the intake i gotta put tape so that i could take all them rags off and everything and really open up that space so that i could really start uh blowing out um all this dirt and debris in between the bottom down there and i'll not have to worry about anything getting inside the engine and shit but that's pretty much what we got so far for today i'll go ahead and check in later with anything we got going on and doing and any updates all right so back came back from the store now I'm about to go ahead and uh I found a uh, half by halves because uh that's what these pretty much were i found a replica you know somewhat similar one with this one but I had to go with this one um because they didn't have another one of these but screw it it fits it works i'm gonna put some blue loctite on it and uh pop them back in to the back of the head here and there we go that is passenger side done side done everything is all good the hole is completely covered in the back sealed up blue lock tied in and we're good so um now i think really what i'm gonna work on next 
is getting some tape and shit, some duct tape, some shit to uh, cover that up so I can move the throttle body and start clearing spaces out the way for when it comes time to blow that dirt and debris out um, and then work on this crossover pipe. Actually, them two long bolts that I know I probably mis misused on mocking the turbo up to the fucking manifold. There's like, I know there's two, there's two more bolts, long bolts in here. Um, I mean, I could just simply take off the one from the turbo and just put, you know, these ones on to mock it up or just take the turbo off because I just wanted to see how it looked and shit. Um, and then just properly do that or use these. I don't know, whichever one I'm feeling. I don't know. There's one more v band clip right here that I'm going to need. So, I'm going to just gonna automatically pull you out. I'm going to need you for... Because the VBN clamp is already right there for there. This is used for... Wow. The back of the turbo for the downpipe. Yep, I forgot. Um, probably, I'm definitely going to be running a, um, a turbo screen. I'm not going to be running an air filter um, on there. Because, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just uh, don't care. Something I gotta do with this AC line, man. I don't know if I could bend it over or what, but that shit is just. Cause I want to keep my AC, man. So that shit, I don't. I don't fucking know what's up with that. To be honest, um, <laughs> check in with an update or tomorrow or later on to see what happens. Oh yeah, crossover pipe. So. Either check in with an update on that or uh, see what's going on tomorrow. So, right. so, update. Crossover pipe is on, as you can see right there. And I had to fight with that clamp, the V band clamp. I had a fight with it um, and it didn't win. So, we got pretty much all the hot side piping uh, mocked up and shit. Um, I see that's where the uh, wastegate is gonna go, and yeah, it's a, here we go, I'm getting there little by little. A uh, part of me wants to try to start doing some bit of wire tucking on this side. Looks like it's going pretty easy. Uh, I definitely want to get started on wire tucking and cleaning up this area this weekend before I start doing any type of cold side piping, uh, mock up and shit. Next, I uh, just want to get the hot side alternator done and then start really deep diving into this but that's pretty much what we're gonna get done for today we got the back of the blocks blocked off alternator on with the bracket done and we got pretty much all the hot side mocked up on finally um and it's looking like i was able to re i was able to move the ac line up under the uh where the manifold is so it what that wasn't really a clearance issue but now it's uh it's falling the connection is falling a bit short to where the line is so now I gotta try to figure something out in terms of um sorry it's my dog barking in terms of uh connections now and such of that nature so you know one problem fix it and run into another so normal shit but so yeah let's go what the hell is that oh that's just that I can yank that out but uh yeah, so that's all going to be for today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and clean tomorrow or just call this a video and see what happens over the weekend. All right, shit, checking in third day. Um, so I ended up getting the uh, fender off because we are starting the, I am starting the wire tucking process. So we got all of this, um, getting, got all that unhooked and done um like i don't know if i need a i know it looks all this shit looks bad a lot of this shit doesn't look oem from the main harness i think like i said there's there was a lot of shit that was just 
chopped and screwed and messed with and that I don't even think serves any type of a fucking purpose anymore. I, I just, I don't know. Like, <laughs> this shit looks like such a mess, but it's cool. We're going to sit here and get it all cleaned up and done. Um, it's pretty much what I got so far. Um, yeah, it's pretty much removing it, unplugging. I took pictures of everything before. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too hard for me to mentally remember. Yeah, I got some it's not going to be mentally too hard for me to remember which plugs go to where. This plug right here was about the biggest bitch to get through the hole, but we got it through though. And I'll be able to start feeding everything else through. Probably going to try to cut off all of this plastic uh, cover shields. If I have to, to make room to fit everything else through, then it's not that hard to go out and buy and just wrap it up again and do that. But I'll go ahead and show you just what the... It's what we got done in the last three days, where we're getting started, where we're headed, where we're going. Um, like I said, you know, turned into a turbo install to where it's like a full, a full blown uh, build and like correction and shit, which is fine by me because once, once, once it's on the road, once this thing is fully done and able to drive and be on the road, I don't want it to ever have a reason to come off the road, um, unless it's something real minor that's just one two back out there same day um so i just want to go ahead and give an update my gopro something's wrong with the memory stick that i got 64 gigs but for some reason there is something that is causing it to that is taking up 60 gigs of on the ram i mean on, on the on the memory i don't know what it is i don't see nothing so until i could it's going to be hard for me to record a lot um for now until i get a new memory stick uh, for the GoPro, which I gotta go do soon, but it's a lot of all that dirt and gunk, and I was able to go ahead and tape up that so I could start uh, blowing out a lot of the dirt in there. I know a lot of that stuff is just mainly something you have to get with like maybe like a wire brush and some real good dirt off grease and everything. But we get in there, man. We get in there. We get in there. So just go ahead and start our check in, y'all, with the update and. Uh, See you in uh see you in about probably like a week. See what happens next week.